everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're gonna to talk about a exclusive application you're able to download for your Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, and it's called Galaxy Labs. So what exactly is Galaxy Labs and where are you able to get it downloaded? So first off, you wanna go inside of your application tray and go inside of the Galaxy Store. Or you can go on the top right hand side and go to Galaxy Essentials. Now inside of here, just hit on the search button and search for Galaxy Labs. Now, as of the shooting of this video today, November 5th of 2019, this is only available for the Galaxy Note 10 series. I tried to download this or search for it on the Galaxy S9 Plus, the Galaxy S10 Plus, as well as a Galaxy Note 8, and was not able to find Galaxy Labs pop up. So if you are using a different phone and you happen to see Galaxy Labs, just write a comment below this video, just so I know it's starting to spread across the rest of the devices. Now, Galaxy Labs is one of those things that is kind of like good luck. So this was first introduced to me by a subscriber, Dave Pointer, sending me an email letting me know that there's a pretty cool utility bundle I need to check out. He also mentioned that it was only on his Note 10 and another friend with an S8 was or an S10 was not able to find it. And he explained it pretty quick right here with one sentence. Galaxy Labs is to phone utilities what good lock is to phone tweaks and customization. So basically, if you love good lock, giving you the ability to customize and give little tweaks, um, visual looks of your phone, then you might like these tools or utilities um, that comes from Galaxy Labs. So this is how you're able to download it. Let's go inside of it and see what's on the inside. So just like GoodLock, it is one application that combines all these really cool customization applications that you can use for your phone. Same thing here, Galaxy Labs is consolidating all these utilities or tools apps in one place and it will be expanding pretty soon. Now the four that is there now is File Guardian, Battery Tracker, Battery Guardian, and App Booster. Now, once you open up Galaxy Labs, you'll notice that you'll have to individually download or install each of these four apps, but they don't add it into your application tray. It's all built inside of Galaxy Labs. So inside of File Guardian, what this one does is it's a way to easily restore your deleted data. So if you go inside of your gallery and you turned on trash, it's pretty much the exact same concept, but this is for everything. So I went through my gallery, I turned off the trash option. So anytime I delete an image, Image, it's gonna pop up right here now once I see you know an image that maybe I want to restore then I'd be able to go inside of here let's say I press and hold this is how you can do multiple things so in terms of multiple images you're able to restore them on the very top where you can see restore or delete um, or if you just tap on one that's individualized uh, you can hit restore there and delete there and this one is monitoring the folder right here so the internal storage so the dcim which is where all of your images are taken this is where you're able to have pretty much everything backed up so inside of here on the very top you can edit these you can sort by um, you can also get a different look of everything that you have you know deleted so this is really cool because it's not just doing it with your images it's doing it with videos it's doing it with your documents it's doing it with audio so if you delete a song or a, a tone or anything you're able to restore this back and you can also choose how long they are sitting inside of your uh, basically your recycling bin here so you can see that you can have it delete uh, after two weeks the type filter so you can do it with images videos audio documents installation of files which is applications which is apk uh, and other uh, documents and, and stuff as well too so it's really nice uh, file guardian because if you like the idea of your your gallery app having a recycling bin or trash this will do it with everything else on your phone and so then you, you are able to take off that trash feature because they'll just pop up in here and then they can auto delete with any time that you have given the next one is battery tracker so for this one if we were to go on back it's going to say track your battery usage so this is just letting you know in a different bar or line graph that you've seen from before so you can see where i fully charged my battery uh, which was about what is that like 7 30 last night and then it just kind of went down and down you can just see what is being used with the battery level being green with the screen on being blue 
And you can also go to the very top and you can select a time period. So let's say I just wanted to see what I was doing uh, between these hours there, then it's gonna show me everything on the bottom. And the thing that's great about Battery Tracker is that when you go inside of here, if you look at your background, if you notice that there is a lot of background being used, turn on this option here, put to sleep. So this way, when you're not using your application, it's gonna sleep in the background. So you won't get some of your updates or notifications when this is not open, but the moment you open up YouTube again, all of your notifications and things will pop up on the top. So if you notice that Facebook is probably gonna be one of those that could be running quite a bit in the background, you can put your app to sleep when it's not in use. And then once it opens up, all the notifications kind of comes through and you can see it um, with, with your little icons on the top right hand side. So it's pretty cool that you're able to, you know, select a time period. You can also check out your last seven days. And so you can see, you know, YouTube is using up a lot of my battery. Uh, again, another bar graph of your battery usage and screen on with the greens and the blues. Now, Battery Guardian, this one extends your battery life. What it's gonna do is it's gonna try to find applications that is giving you some issues and it's going to pretty much close it for you. So right here, it says that uh, speed test had frequent wake-ups. And so what I could do here is I could force stop it and I can also put this app to sleep. So I'm just gonna force stop it for right now. And so now I know for a fact that it's not gonna do anything with any given point in time, especially now that the app is put to sleep when I'm not using it. So if I do open it back up again, you know that force to stop will come back. But if there's any weird battery issues in your phone, uh, this right here could probably find it. And then the last one here is App Booster. It's a way to boost up your app's performance. Now I just boosted my apps about two or three days ago on here, but because I re-updated my phone there was an update that came this one will have to go through and re-optimize those applications for me so you're gonna notice right here it's gonna take a while so even though there's like 530 some applications uh, this will take a little bit so I would suggest giving you right around 10 or 15 minutes for this to kind of optimize everything and it's going to give you a boost by 15 percent so i'm going to leave this screen here because i want to do this over again because my phone did do an update and so it's going to go through every single thing that was you know on my phone i downloaded and also system applications as well just so that you can get the best boost of your phone uh going quick and fast and everything else but oh yeah and there is one thing i do want to throw in here too i actually just ended the video but i noticed one thing that might be a question for you guys if you do notice that file guardian is always showing on the top of your phone right here and if you wanted to get rid of it just press and hold on this little notification and then just turn off notifications for this application hit save and then you'll notice that that little file guardian is now not on the top of notifications I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this one a huge thumbs up. Again, we did talk about Galaxy Labs. Um, as of right now, November 5th, this one is only exclusive to the Galaxy Note 10 series. Let me know if you're using another Samsung phone and this came about inside of your Galaxy Store or Galaxy Essentials. But again, if you guys did like this video, give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also a big shout out to Dave Pointer for sending this, uh, this application my way. If you guys also like this video, make sure you guys hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you liked this video, then more than likely you're going to like this video as well. And I'll see you guys later.